It's going to be a great evening. It's a lot more comfortable this evening. And we had the kickoff to this warm up yesterday, and we're really noticing the impacts today. I only had one layer under my coat today instead of like three. So it is definitely improving by my standards, and I'm sure yours as well. Into the 40s for those daytime highs, closer to average, just shy by like one or two degrees compared to what we're normally at for this time of year. But these winds still helping us out. We're going to have a moisture pump later in the week, and we'll get a visual of that here in the next few minutes. But winds, light and variable, adding a little bit of movement to our air and making it a little bit more comfortable for the evening. We do still have a little moisture in place. That's in the form of cloud coverage. Our forecast is going to continue to be dry tonight, tomorrow, even up until the weekend. We're going to be dealing with a warm-up with sunshine and the only form of moisture being that cloud coverage. For tonight, though, we are seeing a little bit of a difference compared to yesterday. Clearer skies throughout the day, clearer conditions for the evening as well. And so from the 30s, which we're currently at, a few of us still in the 40s, to the 20s overnight. So we're going to have a bigger drop in the temperatures compared to yesterday. But we got warmer throughout the day. So all this put together means it's going to be mild for the evening compared to what we had these past couple of days. And these winds are really to thank for this because without that cloud coverage, all that heat that we've accumulated throughout the day just lifts on up. So the fact that we're maintaining 22 for Jessup, 23 for Savage, 25 for Towson, and 23 for Cordova means we have some warmth still intact in play. And those winds are really going to help us throughout the rest of the week. So one thing to be thankful for, those southwest winds. But eventually, that moisture will continue to build, and that air will eventually get saturated, and so rain will enter back into our forecast. But for now, let's reap the benefits. We'll see clear skies throughout the evening. This is around the 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock hours. Overnight, we'll have another push of cloud coverage, that last hurrah for the moisture. But we will see sunshine tomorrow. And still with these southwest winds, we're going to do a little bit better than what we were sitting at today. 51 for the district, 48 for the state capitol, 49 in the city proper, Elkton at 48, 49 in Lexington Park, and in Oakland, you're doing a lot better at 43. And we are going to be dealing with this warm batch of air going into the weekend. But once again, it comes at a price. And here's what I mean. Over the next several days, we're going to see those temperatures really start to climb. By New Year's Day, we'll see 60s but we'll also see a good chance for rain.